Today we're talking about turbochargers. What are they? Well, they're like a magic box for your car's engine. They give it more power, which is always a good thing, isn't it? It's like giving a gentle shove to a bicycle to get it moving faster. But instead of a shove, a turbocharger uses exhaust gases, you know, the stuff that comes out of your car's exhaust pipe. It's quite clever, really. Instead of just letting those gases disappear into the atmosphere, a turbocharger puts them to work. It's all very exciting when you think about it. More power from essentially nothing. That's the beauty of engineering, you see, taking something ordinary and making it extraordinary. So how does this magic box work, you ask? Well, imagine a little windmill. The exhaust gases from your engine spin the windmill, just like the wind itself would. This windmill, or turbine, is connected to another fan-like thing inside the turbocharger. As the turbine spins faster and faster, it forces more air into the engine. More air means more fuel can be burned. And more fuel means more power. It's like blowing on a fire to make it burn hotter. Now these turbochargers can spin incredibly fast, you know. We're talking tens of thousands of revolutions per minute. That's faster than a washing machine on spin cycle. All this spinning creates a lot of pressure, which is what forces that extra air into the engine. The main benefit of a turbocharger is, of course, more power. It's like having a bigger engine in a smaller package. This is particularly useful for smaller cars, as it allows them to keep up with their larger counterparts. But that's not all. Turbochargers can also improve fuel efficiency. How, you ask? Well, because a smaller turbocharged engine can produce the same power as a larger naturally aspirated engine, it uses less fuel overall. It's a win-win. It's all very clever, really. Getting more power and better fuel economy from the same engine. It's like having your cake and eating it, too. Section 4, the downsides lagging behind. Now, it's not all sunshine and roses, I'm afraid. Turbochargers, while brilliant, do have some drawbacks. One of these is something called turbo lag. You see, it takes a moment for the turbocharger to spool up and start forcing more air into the engine. This can result in a slight delay between pressing the accelerator and feeling the power delivery. It's like waiting for a kettle to boil. It's not a huge problem, mind you, but it's something to be aware of. Another potential downside is complexity. Turbochargers are intricate pieces of machinery, which means they can be more expensive to repair or replace. But then again, what's life without a little risk? Section 5. Fun facts, turbo trivia. Did you know that the first turbochargers were actually used on airplanes? It's true. They were invented in the early 20th century to combat the power loss experienced at high altitudes. And here's another fun fact. The world record for the fastest car is held by a vehicle with not one, but four turbochargers. That's a lot of spinning. So there you have it. Turbochargers, a fascinating and powerful piece of technology that continues to revolutionize the automotive industry. They may not be perfect, but they certainly are exciting.